What if Earth isn't the only habitable planet in the universe? With so many stars and planets, sometimes it feels like we've got to have some cosmic neighbors, right? We've looked at places like Mars, Venus, Titan, and Europa with our telescopes, but haven't found any signs of life. It feels like we're throwing a huge party in the universe and no one else is coming. You know how many grains of sand you can find on a beach? A lot, right? Well, there are way more stars out there, and each would have its own planets and moons. So, the idea that we're the only ones alive in this vast universe seems unlikely. Makes you think about what or who else could be out there. Now, let's focus on this special planet that's considered super habitable. It's called KOI 5715.01. Think of it like Earth, but even better for supporting life. It's twice the size of Earth and sits in just the right spot in its star's habitable zone meaning the conditions are good for liquid water. And we know water is essential for life. Everyone is aware that Earth orbits the Sun. Our Sun is a bit middle-aged, it's lived half its life. Once it hits its senior years, it'll expand, which could cause some serious problems for Earth. It's a bit unsettling, like realizing you're sitting on a ticking time bomb. But KOI 5715.01 is a whole different story. It orbits an orange dwarf star, which is super long-lasting, up to 70 billion years. Think of it like the wise old grandparent who's been around forever and doesn't stir up any trouble. So while our sun's clock is ticking, that orange dwarf is sitting pretty for eons, offering a more stable home for the KOI 5715.01 planet. Cool, right? Before you get too excited though, that planet is incredibly far away, like impossibly far, but dreaming about it doesn't cost anything. And who knows what the future might bring, maybe one day we'll find a way to get there. Yeah, 3000 light years is a mind boggling distance. Even with the best spacecraft we currently have, it would take 100,000 years to get there. That's a lot of time to kill, even if you have the ultimate playlist. Until we invent some kind of advanced propulsion like warp drive, the planet is more like a fantasy than an actual travel destination. Still, it's intriguing to think about the bizarre and unique life forms that could exist there. Now, let's talk about something a bit more attainable, the TRAPPIST-1 system. It's only 39 light years away and is sometimes called the Goldilocks cluster because its conditions are just right for potential life. Astronomers have been captivated by the TRAPPIST-1 system since 2017. This fascinating place has seven planets that are about the size of Earth, and three of them are in the habitable zone. It's almost like the universe set up its own ideal vacation spot. So, how did we discover this incredible system? Through the transit method. Essentially, astronomers saw that the star's light dimmed a bit whenever one of the planets passed in front of it. It's similar to the momentary blockage of view you experience when someone walks in front of you at a concert, just on a cosmic scale involving stars and planets. TRAPPIST-1e is the fourth planet in its system, and these planets are so ancient that they make Earth look like it's just getting started. Life on TRAPPIST-1e could have had a head start of 3 billion years before Earth even became a stable planet. That's a long time for life to evolve. So, who knows what kind of beings might just be there? Maybe incredibly advanced civilizations, or perhaps highly evolved plants. Either way, it's an amazing thought. As for the planet itself, TRAPPIST-1e is like an upgraded version of Earth. It has a thicker atmosphere that's rich in oxygen. It's as if the universe decided to take the concept of Earth and then enhance it to the next level. The TRAPPIST-1 system is definitely unique compared to our own. The star at its center is a small red dwarf, about the size of Jupiter, and it's much cooler than our Sun. Because of that, the planets in the system orbit really close to their star, so close that their orbits would actually fit within Mercury's orbit around our Sun. This close proximity also leads to some interesting characteristics. For example, the planets are tidally locked. 
meaning one side is always facing the star while the other faces away. This could create a Goldilocks belt, a zone with just the right conditions for life, running around the middle of each planet. It's a setup that's unlike anything in our solar system, but offers intriguing possibilities for life. The planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system are so close together that if you looked up, you'd see other planets appearing almost as big as the moon in our sky. It would be an awe-inspiring sight to say the least. And the idea of taking vacations from one planet to another within the same system? Now that's a game changer. Since it's just 39 light years away, it's not too far-fetched to think that future generations might consider TRAPPIST-1 a prime travel destination whether they're looking for cold, hot, or just right conditions. Switching gears a bit, let's talk about Kepler-452b. This planet is eerily similar to Earth. It orbits a star much like our own Sun, and it takes 384 days to complete one orbit, which is just a little bit longer than a year here on Earth. It's like we're looking at Earth's cosmic twin, a month that's exactly 32 days, it's like someone up there really wants us to sync our calendars effortlessly. Can you imagine? No more awkward 28 or 31 day months, just smooth 32 day sailing. Think about the harmony. But here's the deal, Kepler-452b is a supersized Earth. We're talking Earth 1.5, complete with mega continents and more oceanfront property than you could dream of. All that extra room sounds perfect for anything from giant water parks to expansive nature reserves. However, there is a catch because you know there's always one. This big beauty is 50% larger, but also five times as massive. So remember those New York resolutions to lose weight? Double them. Yep, you'd weigh twice as much thanks to the beefier gravity. Goodbye, light jog. Hello, power squats. We used to think that Jupiter acted like a big protective sibling for Earth, shielding us from asteroids. However, new computer models are challenging that idea, suggesting Jupiter might not be as effective a protector as we thought. That's actually good news for Kepler-452b, which doesn't have a giant planet in its system to worry about. It might be safer from asteroid impacts than we initially believed. So, are you getting excited about the possibility of space travel? Imagine a future where you could be relaxing on a beach on Kepler-452b. Due to the planet's gravity, you could even burn calories just by lying there. But hey, nobody's perfect, not even dreamy exoplanets. Kepler-452b's sun is getting a bit long in the tooth. And you know what they say about old stars, they crank up the heat. Literally, it's throwing out more radiation which could lead the planet down a slippery slope to a greenhouse meltdown. One minute, it's like Earth, cool, lush, and full of life. The next, it could go all two-face on us and turn into a hot, unlivable mess like Venus. So, it's like they got them city of planets. You never really know what you'll get. Our final destination is 600 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. There, you'll find Kepler-22b, a planet that's shrouded in mystery, much like the Bermuda Triangle here on Earth. Picture a world where most of the surface is covered by an expansive ocean. But this isn't just any body of water. This ocean is so deep that it makes our Mariana Trench seem like a mere dip in the ground. Imagine an ocean with depths reaching hundreds of kilometers. The kind of marine life that could exist there is beyond what we can easily imagine. It's like an entirely different world beneath the surface. If or when humanity finally decides to pack up and visit Kepler-22b, the element of surprise would be off the charts. Just thinking about the unprecedented sights and experiences that await us gets my heart racing. So, if you had the chance, which of these planets would you want to call your new home? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep this cosmic conversation going.